What's going on, boys? We are back for episode three of the Gap Year. This week, we brought on some of the best players in the world, along with the voice of the GWC. Best player in the world. <laughs> yeah, along with the voice of the GWC, Grizzgull, who is actually en route for a job right now. He is going to be uh, with us on his drive. And uh, I really appreciate him coming on here. And uh, Grizz, uh, you're looking kind of tan right now, too. Did you, did you catch a tan while you are up in Montreal? I didn't, know this, I didn't know it was that hot out up there. Um, no, dude, I, I fucking live in Alabama now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Living, living in Bama, Nick Saban country, Johnny Wayne's lost a lot of money on, uh, on those yeah. Crimson Tide over the years, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Josh has started. too. So, uh, I, get me started. so I, I feel like we got to talk about, you know, the topic at hand, which is obviously the GWC. You know, Regs obviously took home the title. Not a really a surprise, I guess. With, uh, him or Grant, I guess, wouldn't have shocked either, nope. any of us. Um, so, Grizz. What did you think of, I guess, just let's just start out with the, the venue, Montreal. Like, what did you think of the setup? You know, this is your first GWC. Johnny Wayne's been to three. Not a big deal. Josh has been to <laughs> yeah. two. Not a big deal. I've been to zero because I stink. So, Grizz, um, what did you think <laughs> of it? <laughs> so, going, uh, going into it, it was interesting for me. Uh, the venue was released. It was a bar that was next to... Uh, next to the bell center and when i heard that i was like okay well that's interesting that's kind of you know a downgrade we're used to seeing at uh esports arena in vegas however I'll, I'll tell you what the setup was actually very nice um we actually had a lot of people show up which was awesome the crowds were great and uh, i was kind of blown away at, at what they were able to do inside of a bar um so i was definitely impressed and i really actually enjoyed the setup a lot Nice. I will yeah. say, I think with Vegas, dude, that was one of the downfalls. Like a hub like Montreal, you got a lot of players and stuff, so you get more people say. into the venue. In Vegas, you it's more West Coast. There's not a lot of people there, so that was one of the downfalls. But I will say, like judging from looking, I, I will say the NHL does a fabulous job with setting up. They really do, man. They uh, and even there, they they were working with. The, I would say not as good as a stadium as Vegas, but it still looked like it was state of the art production. I mean, um, they had their downfalls and all that, but but I will say it looked like they set it up pretty good with the stage and everything. Don't you guys think, Joshy? Yeah, I do. Um, the thing I'm more curious about, I saw pictures, but uh, did a lot of the French guys come out, Chris? I, I think I saw Johnny's best friend. God, dude, those are my people. To be honest, those are my people, there was Johnny's best friend, Gabesh, was there, was not. Oh, God. Hey, he doesn't dye his hair, by the way. Not, not just the QCs. <laughs> not just the QCs, but there was, uh, like, a lot of people actually made the drive or flew out as well, which was sweet. Um, unfortunately, Aves uh, was told he could fly into Canada with a passport card, so you can't. And he unfortunately could not make the trip. Which he got denied because he wanted to pay for his flight. Wait, 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 rewind that for me. So Aves wanted to go, or Aves, whatever, how you recall it. He wanted to go up there, and he already had, like, his flight booked and everything, and he couldn't get into the country or something? Yeah, dude. Wait, why? Yeah, you couldn't get in with a, you can't fly international with a passport card. What what I, what's a passport card? He was to get into. Yeah, what's a, yeah, what's a passport card? I, I mean, I might be dumb here. I've never even heard. What is a passport card? I, a passport I mean, I have a passport. Card. a passport card. Well, he was told that you could get in with a passport card when he was asking about it, and they incorrectly told him that you could. So here he is sitting with his passport card, finds yeah. out that you can't fly into Canada with a passport card. You need the full-on book. So, oh, unfortunately. Wow. I want to want to go into that. I want to go into that. So so do you have to be vaxxed again to Mon like Montreal or Canada? I believe you do to get into Canada, yes. So so what if you want, if you go, you have to – so if you play GWC and you made it, you have to 100% be vaxxed to go. Pretty sure, yep, yep. Unbelievable. So, 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 yes, Gran and Joseph did get to Like, Gran and Joseph, dude, dude, you wouldn't have been able to go. I, dude, I, you wouldn't, been, been, I wouldn't have been able to go, no. Uh, Gran and Joseph, I know how to get their vax, but I, I think they got the one shot or something. That's what Joseph, or, uh, no, no, Jack that, there, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, I'm just saying that's kind of crazy. Like, you know what they I mean? They only needed one? I'm surprised. He, well, Gran well, J and J is one. Yeah. Yeah, J and J is one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Anyways, uh, who, who is your favorite person you got to meet and who is your least favorite? I got to know. And I'm putting that. you on the blast there. You favorite gotta and least little. favorite. Yeah. Like, even if you didn't spend a lot of time with them, maybe you just didn't catch it off. You know what I mean? Put you on the blast there. Hot, that is interesting. Um, oh, man, you're throwing me on the spot here. Dude. You know, dude, I mean, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Hey, no, no hard feelings towards any either one. I mean, you know what I mean? Just, maybe you didn't get talked to them. <laughs> Well, no. Well, so there, there's a lot of people I got to see. There's even more people I didn't get to see, okay. and I'm just I'm trying to think. 
Because, dude, you, like, all right, all right, fine. I won't I'm give you the hard question. Fly. I won't give you the hard question. You're you're the voice of the NHL esports now. You know what I mean? So who's no, the favorite sleeves, person? Yeah, who's the first? Who's the voice? Who's just the person? analysis. Who's the favorite person you got to meet. Favorite person. <sighs> Start throwing me names. I'll narrow it down. Oh my god, dude. I, I, feel, Joseph, like, hey, I feel like Jack Olmstead. Uh, what's his name? Olmer Go might be the favorite. Art. Jack was a riot, but dude, I didn't get to really go out with him, so I only met BBG? him briefly. BBG. He probably would be my favorite person. If I got to go out with them, um, um, but we didn't. So. BBG, BBG. I think BBG might be a favorite. Maybe. I didn't talk to BBG, dude. I missed wow. him. Oh, dude. dude. Like I said, dude, we were so busy. There were so many people there. Like, it was just, it was very difficult. No, I get um, that. I do it is. That. I, I remember that when I played at my, like, first land. Me and Josh. And like, I, and... I had already met Benny Polk's Joe. Uh, Benny, Benny Polk's Joe, so I already met all three of them no, it's, it's at, a uh, in Orlando. In the moment. Um, especially for me and so many people from Montreal that are, are just sure. play the game and that, you know what I mean, aren't in the land. So. Josh, yeah. you, got any, you got any hot ones? Any, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just more interested now that you said it. I actually want to answer, but no, you don't have to. No, I'm just I'm trying to think. Honestly, it's, it is a blur, dude. Like, I want to ask know? every single person uh. that. So, um, I heard, from what I heard from the other guys, and they can speak, apparently Joseph was a riot. Apparently Joseph was a really, really good time, but I, I don't know. But yeah, again, yeah, again yeah. but Chris, you're you're a lot older, so you might have like yeah, right, dude. You know that's what I was gonna say. Well, see, so I, I didn't go out with the kids. Like the kids were off doing their thing, and like I'm working the event, right? So like if they're gonna get into stuff, I want no part of that. You know what I mean? Right. Um, like I'm I'm 26, turning 27 this year. They're all 18 to 20. What two? 18 to 22. Um, Who and I love those kids. Man. It was an tournament. awesome group. What's up? Who was the, who the, was the oldest, oldest person, person that made that it? Made the tournament. Yeah, they were all youngins, huh? They were, dude. They were all young, dude. And it's a lot different than it used to be when guys were, you know, twenty-two to twenty-four oh, that made it. Now the true. oldest is twenty-two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So, yeah. Was the oldest twenty-two? I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That which, is, uh... which is who? Which would have been who? Dude, I don't even. Probably uh, Lebanese seven. man was probably the oldest. Oh, Lebanese, Lebanese man, right. legend. What a Can't legend. Believe... Oh, you know what? No, I think I think Sap is a little older. I think Sap is a little older. Could they got his name on the on the on the big board, Lebanese man '69 during the awards? Dude, that was that, dude. Hearing that, dude, in dude, that was, and you you looked down and you saw people laughing, dude. It was so funny. Yeah, can I ask you a question? I've so I've never done like a broadcast like that. Obviously, I'm not like trying to do that kind of thing. But like when you guys are like at the desk, do you have like the Twitch chat like almost like right below you, just like you know what I mean, going as you're, or do you not see that at all? So. I'll give you I'll give you my perspective. So obviously me being my size, no matter what broadcast I do, no matter what how small or big, there's always people that are in there being negative, saying, oh, look at Grizz's shoulders or at least wearing the shoulder pads because I got the suit on and making fun of my double chain and my weight and stuff. So like I tend not to look at chat during like big events. Um, so like I didn't have it up, but I know Cam did so that Cam could respond to certain things. But me, dude, I just I did my thing and I kind of like I ignore chat and then I go back later and watch it. Yeah, no, I always go back and watch chat too. And any events I played in, that chat's a hoot, dude. <laughs> it, is. dude it is a hoot, dude. It, it's awesome. Chat's a hoot, dude. I love it. I fucking used dude, to there was nothing better than the EU, dude. The EU versus NA, dude, in, in Orlando, the, the Bolt Style Challenge. That was like the best God, chat that dude, I've ever seen. Right in that thing, dude. I'd love to go back and see what I was saying because, dude, I was a. <laughs> You also gonna see who's actually on your side and not, bro. You know how many times I talk to someone like love me and no, they're dude, like, that's, Fuck. Why, that's why it's good to go back and watch, though, dude. It's it's actually it's actually fun, dude. You get to see, is, yeah, like is. you said, you know what I mean. You can see who's hyping you up and then who who really sits in your chat, and acts like they're cool, and then you know, well, well, we know you're for you, John. We know you're not for you, more than me, especially, bro. We know you're not a big fan of the EU, though, John Wayne. You sent him right back yeah. across the pond yeah. every time you play him. Well, Awful. I I hope. Oh, sorry, oh, Grizz. I'm gonna go into this one a little bit, dude. I hope they don't fly Eki over to lose again. I mean, the guy's been over here how many times, dude? He lost to Jose and Pogues or one of them, and and Regs absolutely clapped. I mean, there's just no contest there. I mean, you're talking about like the state of the art, and then you're talking about HL medium. And Jordan and Jordan wants to bring him over for Islanders, correct? Like I, mean, I know, yeah. yeah he does. And, and you know, what? it's a good content grab, but it's not a good game. Hey, I think we should. Oh, have good a... <laughs> sorry. As far as Jordan, Jordan will be like, well. We can do so much hunting. Wait, can I can I say something real quick? Yeah. I, I think, think, good, I think a good whatever content you're doing, grab you know. would be having the band members of the GWC have a tournament of their own. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Listen, listen. Regs is, is that one. <laughs> 
Riggs, Riggs is unbelievable. I mean, he's just oh, he's got dude. Riggs had another gear, dude. I've never he, seen him play like that, man. He's always been. He's he just chokes. He has a he has a he has no clutch sometimes, man. But he's always been like if he if you're playing a one on one and like uh you're both in just your random room. I mean, he's he's he's, he's definitely probably the best. Well, but. dude, he finally started shooting the puck, man. That's all he had to do, and now he might be unbeatable. I now that he shoots that. for turns, man. I, I, I noticed he took a couple D to Ds, which I was shocked. He did. Oh, he man. took a lot, dude. Oh, oh man. True. No, like, another question. Um, go first, you. No, I, I was gonna say I, I think to honestly to talk about Reg's style the most, we should probably bring on maybe two of the contestants and one of them that had to play Reg's in Benny and Paul. I thought he was gonna lose by a touchdown, dude. I thought he was gonna lose by a touchdown. You did. You did predict. Did. You did predict oh, that Benny and, and, he and did. did he? Did he lose? No, by you know what? No, hang on, hang on, hang on. But before they oh, answer, fuck, or before they get on here, I, I I thought of something. So I think my favorite person that I've met. That I haven't oh, previously. Wait, 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 wait. No, that's oh, fine. Wait, wait, wait. I already met. Whoa, them. whoa. They, neither of them are my favorite. I already met them. Oh, um, okay. My favorite new person that I met, I would have to go with Geimer because that dude is just honestly hilarious. Okay, and now, now give me your least. <laughs> least I'm still thinking about. Least I'm still thinking about. He's still thinking about, He's still about, thinking about it. So, so I had to bring on two of the contestants that were there. We have Pogues down here in the bottom left, and we got Benny down in the bottom right. What the sick shades on? He's right by the like, water. Benny looks like he's about to hop on a private jet or something. Look at him. Look at him. He's on the beach. I love that. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not used to in the sunlight. I'm driving in the sun right now. Stop, stop, stop. We're not talking about my beach experience. All right, what's up, boys? Hey, Benny, I'll start off first. I'm going to apologize. I thought you'd lose by a touchdown. You kept it pretty close. I mean, still didn't get the job done, but... So there's no there's no win in that, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a little props on the not losing. No, I, I I appreciate it, John. It was it was extra motivation, if anything. So right, uh, hey, so so we we had questions. How was it playing Regs? Regs 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 just get out there giving the dick or what? What was going on? Fuck, there? dude, he's 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 the fucking alien, man. Like I like <laughs> I, I don't know what much you fucking do with a guy. Like have you seen like I assume well I've, you've obviously met him before. His right hand is like half the size of his left hand. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't fucking know that shit. They were showing us that. It's nuts. You up on the last pod and I haven't seen it. Oh my god, like, it's nuts. Like I, I swear to God, like like I, I don't know how it like. Dude, he's like, a freak. Dude, 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 so maybe that's why. Is it his left hand or right hand? Because maybe that's why. Right he's hand. Right, right hand. It's his right. It's, so right. it's his right. So this left hand because he's got a right. stick movement. Right. Got no, the yeah, movement. it's the right stick movement. Yeah. Right like, stick, like, right it was so weird. No, oh. I, I told the story in the podcast last week. His dad told me about it, how he was born. He didn't have muscle on the right side of his body. What makes it even crazier is, like, if any of you guys – John Wayne, I know you play golf. I don't know about you, Polgsy, and Benny, or Grizz. I know Josh does not play golf. He plays freaking soccer. But anyways, um, hitting a golf ball as good as Rex hits it with, like, that, I'm amazed. Like, I really am. Like, he, he, I, he would kill me, and, like – But it, it's, like, nothing, right nothing stops him, and he still – so I'm guessing you guys listen to the podcast, and that's why you asked him that, or, or you noticed it. Like, well, how did you guys see that? He showed us in person, like he showed us. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know. Oh, he never showed me. I never know. I met him twice, three times. I've never, he never seen showed it. me. Yeah. Uh, Have you I've, seen it? I've seen it, but I don't. <laughs> what are you guys doing, dude? What are you guys doing? No, we I don't. Re- I don't remember it being that yeah. small. I think you guys are trolling a little bit. I swear. <laughs> But dude, you know what's crazy? We actually had a really tall group of GWC contestants this year. Like, dude, everyone was like six foot and above. Definitely for the most heard. part. Like, for the most part. If one hand's a little too big there, he just switches it up. <laughs> switches it up. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, you're, you're a clown, bro. You're yeah. a clown. So, so we talked about, like, we were talking about Benny, like, with you, with Regs. And so his style this time, like, he definitely didn't do the whole – I mean, he still did the puck possession thing, but, like, he definitely shot the puck more. That was evident. Well, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. He, he he switched over in I think Tampa is when he kind of made that switch. Uh, probably like in the last week. That's what he called. Um, I just like it was so hard to play defense on him. Like the only like my only like uh my only like scouting report on him was just the skills on him. So I just like started yeah. like just not moving the center man. And then it was it worked game one and then game two like. As soon as that guy gets a lead, he's impossible to come no, back for on. Sure. Like, it's, it's insane. Um, I, I I did not score a goal uh, when he had the lead. So like I, I like he was he was so hard to play when he had it. It's just when you have that lead, you have to make sure you have to like hold on to it for as long as you can. So yeah, I, I did I didn't do a good enough job of that in games two and three. Okay, no, I, I got I. Sorry, no, I, I was just going to say, like, the shooting thing, I wasn't watching all the games. I'll be honest. I was working. I had it in my ear. 
I like would hear things. So I, was, I was basically listening to Grizz and Sleeves call, which you guys did a really good job of like describing it. But I was, I kept hearing, and Kucherov fires a shot from like outside the circles, and Kucherov. So like he must have been like shooting. Like, is that like a new glitch goal? Maybe I'm too old and I don't know this. Where like you're taking these and pulls. I know you're like you know how to in Benny. You guys are like glitch masters, but like. Is there, like, a slap shot or something I don't know about from, like, a mile away that if you take, like, a guy like Kucherov, you can just bury it every time? Like, maybe Poles, you can tell me or something? I don't know. So, what he was doing was when he has a three-on-two, instead of actually, like, trying to, like, score on the rush, he would, like, pull the brakes, like, IRL, and then just shoot. And if he's on the right side of the ice, he would, ju he would just shoot, like, left pad for the rebound, and he would score. He scored five. I mean, one game, he scored five times against me in a scrim, like, when we were playing. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I will not. Well, let's hear what his order is. Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you gonna? I'm gonna see what kind you of. Gotta order get I got a strawberry here. shake yesterday. Maybe a McFlurry. I don't know. I I throw a McFlurry in there. I think. <laughs> I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask someone. No, but I. Uh, anyways, like, we'll keep going here, like, until Grizz orders. But anyways, the. Yeah. <laughs> Grim looks skinny, boys, huh? Grim lost some weight. He did. Oh, real yeah. he I'll, I'll admit that all day long. Grim looked really well. He looked Dude, he, he looked good. I mean, some of it, though, like, like these guys, like, I feel oh, like they grow on. so much. <laughs> Hi, can I have a large number five? Uh, Diet Coke. Oh, Barbecue. I was ask something, dude. I, I was and then really also a uh, hot and spicy McChicken. It was a really good question. Um... Josh, how's MLB going? Uh, just a bit? sandwich. Amazing, dude. I'm trying yeah, to pitch out. That's it. Up or what? Yes, dude. <laughs> Thank uh, you. A really good question. Um, there you go, Grizz. That was, he's, just, he's just putting the order in here, boys. <laughs> tell them you're on the gap year. See what they think at the window. Tell them, tell them you got, you're on the gap year. They'll be completely lost. <laughs> Anyways, so Benny yeah, and, and Holmesy. Back to what I was saying with you guys. So, like, the one thing, I don't know about you guys, but... I, and I'll go I, over your series I use this. Too, a, little, a little bit Grant, or with Grant and Polks, but I was bummed <laughs> in the sense of, like... They didn't show much of anything, and you guys obviously knew that because you, 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 you Polk's got absolutely fucking Polk's got absolutely. Oh, okay, chill. yeah. Well, the first the first game, like the first half of the game, I, I actually like controlled the whole game. They didn't show it, and then he kind of just well, broke me there. first. I, I he he broke me first, uh, and then I just, I just shit the bed. Dude, I did. I mean, you were talking you were talking about touchdowns. I mean, like touchdown for Ren, like fuck, man. Dude, like, I was like, holy fucking tits, man. No, but seriously, I had never seen him play so good, and I told him that, like, he, he was he fucking cracked. Really yeah, did. he was uh, cracked. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> There you go, Grant. There you go. This is great. So anyways, Pulse, what I was going to say, though, is, like, I was bummed I didn't get to see more. And, like, we kind of knew this going in. They weren't going to show the broadcast, you know, for the first day and, this, like, much of that, I guess. I feel like there's a way to do – like, can't we just do a quick on the fly of, like, the goals at least? Like, you know, here's, here's the goals. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then, like, go to the next game, back and forth. You know, that, that takes, like, two minutes, maybe three minutes tops. Like – I mean, for me, it wasn't really back and forth. I just got bang, 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 <laughs> yes, me. But uh, for Benny, yeah, for like series like him, like Sap Joe's, like it was like back and forth. Like all the series went to what? Three? All, all, ser all series went to three. I think, yeah. yeah, they all went to three except mine. So I mean, like, we were downstairs doing some prep work, and I just hear Benny, yeah, every time he scored. And you think he, the, the dude was about to pass out, dude. And yeah. then Ranked would score, you'd hear nothing. No. Yeah. And Oh. I, 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 oh, oh, that's what I was going to ask. So going back to Rex, last question about him. So what, did he have like his two agents there were like, uh, oh, God. What, what, who, was who? Jordan and like Charlie? Jordan, like, Jordan and Charlie oh, from last year's both there. Yeah. Like, yeah, I already got my drink. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, they were, they were, you could tell they had a, like, he had a crowd. He had a crowd even when it was off stream. Like, like both of his, like Secure. Jordan and, and Charlie were there cheering. Like, I like, I, I think I went up one nothing in game two, and I hear Charlie go, "Let's go, Rex! Come on!" And then I choked after that. I think I, I, think I lost like a total score after that was like ten one Rex. So I, I don't know. know I don't know what kind of powers he has, but like, I just know, I know how know. Jordan is. I know how Jordan is. So I think I think it'd be funny to see. Well, have you ever met Charlie? <laughs> No, I haven't met Charlie. Oh, Tell me about Charlie, Charlie dude. He's he's way more into it than um, Jordan. And Jordan, he loves it, dude. Can I, can yeah, I ask a question? Well, well, like, is it because his paycheck's going to evolve? Like, he's getting paid the more regs wins, right? So, like, yeah. I kind, yeah. kind of, kind of. I, uh... Can I ask something, though? Like, so we weren't there. Was that was that Charlie that was, like, screaming in the background when regs was scored? Like, who was that? 100%. I think that, 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 was, that, was, that, was, that was, was a lot of people. a lot of people that were screaming for yeah, him, dude. Yeah, yeah. There were, no, there, there was were. Was Charlie was super loud. Yeah, Charlie was, like, super loud. I, I, I know that voice. 
and I know, like, like I know how he is, but I, when he, when he would score, it was like, let's go, Rams, let's go, and I was like, okay, like, who is that, and then I saw Gren, and I, I, Gren's gonna come on in a few weeks when, like, he gets back to Texas, but he said that whenever he, like, scored or whatever, he said that, like, he was clapping back at the crowd, I couldn't, we couldn't hear on the stream what he was saying, it was like, was there some kind of interaction going on with Gren in the crowd that I don't know about? Yeah. So at the, literally at yeah, the front, like out. right at the front, Gabsy and Grim were like sitting there and all of the Isles guys were like cheering and whatnot when Reg scored and everybody was kind of like, not every, like you would think like the crowd would like scream when people scored, but like, I don't know. It's, it was like kind of quiet and whatnot, but I don't know when Reg scored, they like, they I were going nuts. Quiet, yeah, I mean, it, was, it wasn't that bad, but for, it was like, it wasn't both sided. Like it was just one way. And then, and then I guess Gren <laughs> oh, yeah, won an OT. Yeah, Gren, Gren won an OT, and then he fucking let Grim and Grim Gabsy hear it, man. Like, he dude, let them hear it. I actually like Gren more and more. Every day, the guys, White it. Down that's, the half, not, that's, dude. that's exactly that's what Gren was doing God to the past. Damn, yeah, he, like, he let him hear when he won, that's yeah. Good shit, though. Fuck. Well, it's because they don't have the headsets on, right? So that's what they wanted. They wanted the interaction from the crowd and stuff, so. Right, right. And that's, I mean, that's good. I mean, I, I definitely feel like it's it's good that Gren was able to, like, you know, get back at him, and it was it was a really. I mean, it was a really. I think you'll get that regardless, though. What, would you say? You would you say, Chris? Perfect. I I think you get that interaction regardless of having a headset on or not. To be honest, because you'll still hear them. Oh, for sure. I don't. Yeah, what well, not? I don't know. When I play, when I play with my headset, I can't really. Hear dude, even if folks is blasting magic in the air, dude, if someone scores, you're gonna hear it. <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> now, okay, so. You guys obviously played. I don't know if you guys want to talk about anything else in your games or anything that like stood out for you at the actual like, you know, the part where you guys were playing. Like, is there anything that I like left out maybe or anything that was like that was like kind of crazy that we didn't see? Um, you can you go, folks. Where we played, it was kind of like a like a, yeah, a weird area good. in the quarterfinals. It was like a people were walking by, like it, it didn't like I don't was know, it, like was on it the, the, uh, was it in the kitchen of the bar? Was it in the kitchen of the bar? <laughs> It was. I was actually beside it. It was actually beside it. So, um, like, it was. It was. It was just like weird. It was like. A, I yeah. like personally for me, I felt uncomfortable. Like, like when I was in Tampa, like I was on the stage. I was all alone. Like, obviously, there's people to my left when I was playing. But like, I don't know. When I was just like sitting there, I was just like, I don't know. The camera was in our face and all that stuff. Not not blaming. That's why I lost. Like, I completely got no. shit on. But. It was just like a, like I don't know why we couldn't just play on the stage. Like I don't, I don't know. I mean, I you 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 that. guys yeah. both you guys both had the toughest first round matchups too. Like let's be honest. Like it's yeah. it's like whatever. And can I ask you guys another thing about the the setup too? How was it going? And I know Benny, you're you're a PlayStation guy, but like you're a PS4. But how yeah, was it going dude. to the PS5? Because that is kind of I know Pogsy, you own a PS5. I know yeah. Benny, you have a PS5 too. But like how was it going back to that? I guess or you know yeah, what I mean. That's a good question. Um, I, yeah, I'll start, I, switching from PS4 to PS5 is not that bad. There's, there's a couple different differences. Like, I find, like, PS4, you could pass a lot more, like, last year. Like, more behind the back passes worked, where PS5, like, if you threw it behind your back, like, that thing was not going anywhere. Um, but that was, like, that was about, that was the closest thing I could think of, of, like, the switch over. But, I playing, playing Tampa while being on PS5 was a fucking mess. I can't even imagine what Polks felt, like switching the ps5 for gwc like it's fucked it, it could the games are completely different it's not yeah. i mean i got yeah. shit on no it either for the controller. i think you saw yeah, that in the draft too them. like regs went with a very small team comparatively yeah. to everyone else yeah, and i picked a bigger kid. team from xbox that's why yeah like, and my team and so did Joe as well started. yeah yep so, well, uh, so, I can attest, so, so 2018, 2019, they did put us in little cubbies too. So I can, I know exactly what we're feeling like. Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious why. I wonder what the but reason for that is. NBC why not Sports use studio, stage? studio, but you only have one stage. They only keep you in the stage for that. But anyhow, uh, going okay. back, I couldn't imagine having to fucking switch from being an Xbox kid and having to play on a PS5 controller with no adapter. That was shocking. Says crazy. It, Andre says it's so easy because he can play. With no, it's not so easy. I just mean like it's well, it, for me. It doesn't bug me. For you guys, I understand. Everyone's different. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to play. I'd be, oh. I'd be. I might as well just toss it in. It's over. I mean, look at the difference. <laughs> Do you have the option to use an adapter or no? No, there's no dude. adapters, and we weren't even allowed if we wanted to. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that is complete things, bullshit, like, dude. That's that bullshit. is weird. I didn't know that happened. I no, can't stand this thing, dude. It I mean, hurts my hand, bro. Look at the two kids that made it, dude. They're PS5 players. I mean, I'm sorry. They're both the best. They're both the best. They're PS5 players. Yep. They play the whole yeah, let, year let, on let's this. Say something here. When uh, Josh, that's been happening. When Josh played <laughs> back in the day, Saphir and the Leafs gaming, and you were there, Pogues, at the Leafs gaming, Josh hadn't talked. I, I literally, like, and Josh, I love you to death, 
and you I thought you were a better player back then than him, and I think I thought you were gonna win the whole tournament, honestly. But whenever you had to go to PlayStation, you hadn't touched all your long. I even think like back then it was worse because like maybe Pogs and Benny's that you yeah. guys played both. The bumps on Xbox back then were like oh, you could shove crazy. a guy with one hand out of the zone, and on PlayStation was it was a lot quicker and smoother, and like the bumps weren't as crazy. Well, when Josh, I knew he had to play Sephir on PlayStation. I'm like, I have a bad feeling about this. Like Josh hadn't touched play- PlayStation all year long, and then you end up losing. Didn't you remember that, Josh? Like, wasn't it a huge yeah. difference? A huge difference, bro. Every year, like the games. I don't know how it was this year because I didn't play on PS5 a lot. But like yeah, the game's mean. completely different. Like every year, we see the same thing, bro. Even last year, like Grand Rigs, like a lot of. I think I said on my stream one time, like a lot of the people that qualified near the top eight last year was like all PlayStation guys. It's just, it's just how it is, bro. Like it's, it's just crazy. Transition, like the game's completely bro. different. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. what are you gonna do? No, like, but Pogsy and Benny, like, would you guys agree? Like, besides, like, okay, I don't know about this too. Junior Pence told me like. All my brothers calling on the phone before the tournament started, They're like, we can't hit the Pogs goal on PlayStation. That's what Junior Penn said. Like, is that true that your goal doesn't work as good on PlayStation? Or am I wrong? I, mean, I, I, I couldn't really test it out on PlayStation because, again, like when you're playing like players that actually know how to defend it, yeah, it's like right. so easy to stop. Right, but, yeah. like, but, yeah. But, like, I, I think I we saw it a little like, bit. It went through once for Joe. So I think Joe's got one in the semis. But, yeah, right. It right. exists me once. But yeah. that was, it, for me, it was just bad defense. Like I, I just completely missed it. But um, yeah, yeah. like for I, I thought I thought with Tampa, Tampa I could bumps do it. No There's problem. no bumps. Yeah, yeah. There's no bumps on PS5. Oh wow! So the, it's that's why Reg's such a small team, team though. Then, pretty much like uh, from 2020 or 2021. Oh, yeah, but that's why Reg's drafted his team. He drafted it small because he could protect it and still have speed. Like, uh, and I didn't yep. think of that at all. He drafted it for Montreal. I drafted it for Xbox. Like. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so I mean, are completely the same. Then they haven't fixed nothing. Hey, dude, Ben Ross, thing. Ben Ross, and I sat in DMs, and I was like, because I'm more of just like, I want the same game because it shouldn't be like that. Like, it, it's a joke. Like, it makes no sense. It like, makes and, no and, sense. And we, want, we want crossplay, and they can't even get the game the same, right? So that's like a problem. Like, they're never gonna get it the same, or they're never gonna have crossplay. They can't get it the same. But what I was gonna say is like, with you guys, like, I, I just feel like the the whole like no bumps thing. That's like huge for. When you go from like especially you post on Xbox to that, I mean you you play defense completely different from Xbox to that. I mean that's a you big can play manual D like you can play manual D on that's why Xbox. Josh is so you can't good on, on Xbox too. You can't. Right, and that's why Josh has always been so good on it. Well then, all right, we'll get away from the games. Like unless you guys have something yeah, else, like uh, let's hear about, about afterwards. What uh, what anything happened uh, in the nightlife in the in the young young bucks? <laughs> you guys hit the strip club. What do we do after? How do we celebrate? Rigs by the bottles or what? What happened? Well, Wednesday night everything was kind of like paid for or whatever, and we went to like a like an outside club i don't know it was by a lake it was it was actually sick and there was like a ferris wheel in the background and whatnot and i don't know if you guys saw my twitter post or whatever but it, it was fucking sick and they, we had what i think we had like benny it was like what eight to ten bottles or something like that yeah everyone jose was hilarious dude i think jose, it was one of his jose, first times most, drinking yeah, 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 one of his first times going jose out yeah. was hammered, dude, hammered not even out. not even the same ballpark that guy was on a different planet well, you got to think, dude. He, it's 21 in the States, right? Yeah, and he, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Those U.S. guys were loving it. Well, I, I got a picture. That's on... the one nice thing about Canada. <laughs> like, having it there, like, the kids can go out where Orlando, yeah. they couldn't. I got a picture on my phone, and it's really hard to see. Obviously, we're, we don't, we're not too tech savvy on this podcast here. But I got a picture of the Omer brothers sitting in a shower with money all over them the night before the GWC. What was that about? Maybe you guys can tell me about this. Casino. Oh, the casino. Okay, okay. <laughs> Tuesday, okay. Tuesday, Tuesday night, uh, we're all at the casino. Uh, they're at the, like, blackjack tables, and it's packed. Like, they can't even get in. So, actually, Cad was with them on, on the table with them. So, Omer got in, and then Cad hopped on with them. And then uh, they uh, – I think they both had, like, 50 bucks each left. And then they, they won a hand, and then, obviously, they, they doubled it. And then uh, they won like 10 or 11 hands in a row. And Jack won like, I think almost 4K or something like yeah. that. And yeah. That nuts. That's, that's, like, that's yeah, like a legendary you, story. You, <laughs> yeah, he, he won a ton then. Yeah, they, well, they were, getting, than, they were getting pissed. Uh, <laughs> he won more than like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, can I just interject for a second? We so need to get the prize. Get, oh, sorry, go for it. You guys heard me order like, a hot and spicy McChicken, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What happened? Because this, this, this is not a hot and spicy McChicken. What is it? It's a spicy crispy chicken. I mean, not yeah. what I ordered. 
Hold on. Are you, that's, are you that's, gonna that's, eat that's, it? No, because no, what I ordered is the small sandwich. That's like a dollar. This one is like four dollars. Oh, and that's pretty fucking good. Did they charge, you for, eat four, it, did but... they charge you for four bucks? Uh, I think so. Because it seemed like it was more expensive hey, hey, than normal. Give us, give us a one, give us a one bite review real quick on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do you got there? Um, it's pretty decent, but <laughs> spicier than I thought it'd be. Take another okay. bite. Give it like take a, another bite. Take another bite. Let me get him one more bite in there. Yeah, give him a big one. A big one. There you go. <laughs> give it a good uh. Give it a good seven one. There we go. Seven <laughs> one. <laughs> hey, not bad. That's a veteran score. Okay, so so then you guys went out that night. Pogs, I still I still see you limping around that walking boot on. <laughs> I, I felt so bad. He had to go up so many <laughs> stairs, dude. Uh, Buddy, what are we doing, man? Is that thing ever healing or what? <laughs> I've, I have surgery on Tuesday again. Oh so. wow! Wait yeah. again? Yeah. Oh, Why? For what? I I gotta get one of my screws out because oh. it's uh, it was like holding everything together, and uh, so like it limits me from like doing sports and shit. So I was like, dude, I'm young. I want to get that shit yeah, out. Yeah, get that oh, out. That's yeah. awful, bro. Well, how yeah, long are you down? How long are you down after the surgery for that? Like, what's that yeah. recovery? I mean, what swelling and stuff? Like, it's not broken anymore. So hopefully, like a week. Yeah. Mm, no, but... for sure. And then so you guys went out that night. Like, let's talk about the draft. Like, I'm obviously I love you know NHL stuff. Like. You guys were there for like one of the crazier first rounds, I would say, in the last yeah, that was know, nuts. 10, 15 that was years. Nuts. Especially in Havland. Yeah. Shane Wright um, should have been a yo. Dude. Can I, can I, okay, can I say something here? Johnny Wayne, I love you to death. You I don't, don't care, even dude. know who Shane Wright I, is. I know he was supposed to be the first pick in the draft, dude. Yeah, you know I mean, bring him home, dude, man. You got Logan Cooley, and you're like, this guy's. Is Logan Cooley a lefty or is he a righty, John Wayne? I have no fucking idea. Okay, there we go. So let's let's calm down, okay? And like, it's gonna be better, dude. I'm telling you. Put it on my words. Huh? <laughs> well, like, okay, three teams or two teams pass on him, or no, three teams pass on him. So if he was that like consensus number one, why did three teams pass on him? Secondly, you're as bad with this stuff as Josh is. We didn't need a center. We dropped in the center. What the fuck do you mean? But you're, you're, you're like Josh is with like his like NHL teams. Like Josh is like, what's up, Matthews? He left your right. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> you, you want to know why Dan Wright did not go number one overall, dude? This <laughs> didn't even get a haircut for the draft. He had no fucking, he had no fade, no nothing. He had a messy haircut. <laughs> he had a lack of it. Oh, that's that's what he's always been. He needs a who's on you, Grizz. You, you and Pogues and who? Somebody else had all you guys had the like the the, the like the flow up top or like the shaved side. I can't pull it off. I have no hair. But like Pogsy and uh and and Grizz, you guys have like a nice little hairstyle going on there. I I just throw dude, it Joe's out. Joe's had the best hair, dude. dude. Joe's had the best hair by Joe's far. Joe's did have some good flow. I'm not gonna lie. Gren though, no hat, very different. <laughs> and he was yeah. letting out he was letting out the little like afro thing going on there. But uh, no, I, I thought I lost a lot of weight, dude. Oh, he looked great. No, Damn, for sure. good for him, man. For I, that him. microwave has not been being, being used in that bedroom. That's <laughs> hey, 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 time out, time out. What we'll, we'll that? How about the the best setting was voted on for the GWC in Gren's background one? I think I think it won, right? And like it, I, it, thought, it, it, I thought of John Wayne, like. How good is that? That like the yeah. Look at Josh's face. So Josh, his red light or whatever on the background that 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 uh, you know John Wayne always chirps him about, like turning on the yeah. light off the light. He won the best setting. Benny won like the best um, celebration. Best or no? moment. Best moment. Best, best moment. moment. His, his parents and his family were out in the hot tub, and that that news channel reporter that everyone keeps talking you about. Know, it's Benny's friend. You know who never win <laughs> best setting is Josh Felix. Look at no, that no, best that setting. No, mind, actual. Dude. Holy <laughs> shit. Actual. <laughs> Hey, Josh, listen, with that. that was his actual, setting, dude. Look actual, at that be, actual best setting, yeah. though, is actually Polk's. Easily, bro. This guy's actually... First of all, his room's always clean as fuck, it looks like. The crutches. And, <laughs> and no, and his, his camera's, like, so clear, dude. There's no way... And the there. crutches. The crutches. You can't beat that, either. Dude, you know what? You, got, you, gotta throw you know what? I, uh, one of my favorite moments was from this year, not, not like QWC, but just from this year, was uninstall in the Lazarus event. He's about to take a shootout attempt. He has his mom walk in and throw a pie in his face before he took a shot. Did you actually? I didn't know that. Yeah, that was, that was dude, one of the like, highest I, moments, dude. Yeah, like, yeah, like, dude, I saw the prize pool for that tournament. I'm like, fuck, I gotta win this thing. 
That thing so was, I was like, I thought we all played for this year. Dude, I missed that. <laughs> I know, it was not. I missed that because I was out, uh, like, I was out at a party or something to go do. Oh this. my I god. Had, I, I had the best idea oh. for it, bro. I was gonna get someone to grab my controller, and I was gonna turn around and put something over my head and get them to score. And it, it basically scanned the whole tournament. I thought you were a no-look goal. I thought when you were pointing at your bed, Josh, you'd be like, I, I was gonna have a girl in the bed back here, and she was gonna score a goal for me. No, I was gonna like, I was gonna like, roll out of bed like no, an hour after no, the stream because no. I never can show up for anything. Anyways, like, Josh's, Josh's, I love, and like, I'm not saying she's here, Josh. The best moment ever is the floss, the towel floss. I don't that even, Josh, like, Josh, like, you beating Eki is hilarious because of like how you're like, go, I mean, send him across the mean, that was a that was a great like oh, yeah. actual moment, but the no, floss just was the best. The oh yeah, that was pretty good too. The the money in the in the bedroom with Jack that was fun. just because of just because of Jack being Jack. I mean it's it's funny like you know what I mean. But his dad is just like him, dude. That's what I dude. Heard. Jack yeah, is exactly beauty, like yeah. him. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. Their dads are beauty. Yeah. No, I. I uh, but, <laughs> the GWC needs Josh, dude. Like it's just oh, entertaining. Chill, chill, chill. It's funny. It's fucking. It's not. It's not. It's not your your flabbergasted smoke blowing smoke up at the ass of your your opponent. Like, dude, Josh is just Josh. You know, it makes it. Even Grant waving the, the towel fun, back dude. and forth at each other. That it's was fun. good too. You need that. You need that shit, dude. You need a little little. Uh, hey, Carson. Hey, Carson. But I but I, I I agree. The towel floss, Josh, which was funny because everyone was like. Like Arda and all them, like kind of like cringe at the moment. They didn't know what to do. Nasher, no one knew what to do. Nasher was crying, bro. He was uh, laughing. But, so but hard. then, but then they used, the best part was like, and I'll give Dreamhack credit because they do good with like Benny's hot tub stuff and like, yeah, and, like they 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 find like the funny little things like where like they try. I know they try to make you guys be like, hey, can you do like a dance move? And then Paul just sitting there with his crutch, like doing the sprinkler or something, or like you know what I mean? I'm like, like, I can't do it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the editing was like, fantastic. <laughs> like. <laughs> But like, but like <laughs> Benny, like they did the hot tub thing, but with Josh, like they used your floss like the following week, and they, that was like the main thing. I was like surprised. I, I think that stuff's good. Like I know people are like, oh, it's kind of like over the line. I'm like, come on, dude. It's not like he got. It's not like he got down naked or something and started flossing. Yeah, like, yeah, facts, I mean, facts. you basically sometimes do that on stream. I, I mean, I've seen you change your pants on stream somehow and not get banned off Twitch, <laughs> but. I, but sorry, Dude, but shorts are getting tighter. By the week. <laughs> they are getting tighter because he's getting bigger. He's he's, he's <laughs> Jack. I think I think when Pose gets healthier, Pose and Josh just meet up with each other and start working out with each other. He can push his in workouts. I mean, I was going and then I stopped for three months and I'm gaining. I probably gained like 15 pounds. I'm not gonna lie. I'm getting I'm getting a little bit chubby. I agree. Yeah. Bro, your foot, man, it, like it hinders you so much, dude. Yeah, I can't do shit. Do. But I. But okay, I'm gonna put you in the spot like I did, Grizz. Um, <laughs> oh, no. Favorite person you guys met? Least favorite person you met? Oh, I love this. Yeah, go. Uh, Benny, you go first. Oh, I gotta what the one. fuck? Doing <laughs> uh, uh, oh, Benny's a nice kid. He's not gonna be able to answer this. I, I honestly, like, I like. I'm being for real. There wasn't a single person down there that I like didn't like. Like I, everyone I vibed with. I'll, okay. I'll okay. I'll say my least favorite person to meet down there was Regs because he fucking <laughs> rounded me. But <laughs> I love answer. I like that. But uh, but uh, but obviously like outside it. outside of our best of three, Regs. No, is fucking of course. Great kid. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then too. favorite person, um. I mean, Jose is fucking hilarious when he was hammered. Uh, that <laughs> well, you was, already that met Jose. That was the time to be around. That doesn't around. count. You already met him. Yeah, true. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. Just favorite person there. That counts. That counts. That's good. That's good. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, I'll say Jose is hammered specifically. Okay. <laughs> well, no. I'll say, I, honestly, there was no – everybody was absolutely – like, everybody was so fun there. I'm not going to lie. We all, it we was all a really like good a, group. It was we, a good It was a really guys. good group. Like, we all had a blast. We all, like, gelled really well. But uh, probably my favorite person was probably Bobby the Dog. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Bobby, 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 Bobby's following me. Yeah, he Yo, was buddy there. Picked up, what a seventy-five hundred dollars. Hey, listen, dude. listen, listen. He He's picked me. For a gift, dude. No, 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 no. He picked me up in his Beamer, and oh my I've never God. had so much fun in my life. I felt like I was on a goddamn rocket ship. I we're like, we're God, fucking but... racing, man. Like, no, oh my Bobby God. was a beauty. Like Bobby was like, like even if people needed rides back and forth.
from the casino yeah. and whatnot. Yep. Like he was making sure everybody was good and safe. So like I don't know, like shut like Bobby like hooked us up with like the club and stuff. So oh like, my, he's, yeah. he's a great stop, dude. But, he's uh, just too much just money all around. He was, all around, he, he was a great guy. And, uh, well, and it's not even just that he had the money, right? Like it's that he was genuine and nice. Like, no, like, like you said, going out of his way yeah. to pick people up, making sure no, that no, no. if someone needed a ride, he went and got him. Hey, time out, time out, time out for Daddy Padres. Since I'm not in the Twitch chats as much as everybody, isn't Bobby the dog? The guy that used to be like Josh's like big time gifter, and then when Josh no. and I like, or, or no, I, something there? You, I was good one. He a big gifter there, bud. He 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 gifted a, a couple times, but I, he was originally from PS4, so I think he actually. He was, he was the, he would, yeah, 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 yeah. No, but yeah. by far Bobby was. Bobby my, the dog. Okay. Yeah, cool. Bobby, Bobby's yeah. the homie. Okay, that's I couldn't remember my my bad my AirPod went off for a second. But Bobby, I thought in the shout out on Gap, you're uh, unbelievable. What happened? It, I said Bobby the dog in a shout out on Gap here. That's, that's fucking. Yeah, he, him on, dude. Yeah, he actually deserves it. Talk about his week. Nice, Maybe we'll bring Bobby the dog on. He can cruise around his beaver. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> no, and, right. and so, but I so okay. He asked about that, but, but going going back to the draft real quick, I want to ask one question. Since am I the only one? with the draft because it was like on twitter that night that was just like the twitter tweets were off that night there were so many experts on twitter that were like this team's the biggest idiots in the world how bad was the crowd when he got drafted first overall the slavkoski was it really as bad dude, as like, they dude. started yeah. with like they said slovakia and then everybody was like wait what what like dude yeah, it was like, quiet dude it was quiet, oh, yeah, and, then it was, and then everybody went nuts after. It was like, what is that going is on? Weird. They did I redeem themselves. Yeah, when he was interviewing in, on the side, and they do the – they they sing the, the – the Montreal Canadiens fans, they sing the song, and, like, dude, it gets loud. And there was not that many fans in attendance, which I was surprised at. But yeah. when they all got in unison, dude, it was loud. Yeah. Like, I really want to go to a Montreal home game now. And, and booing Gary Batman, dude, they, they would not oh. stop. Not yeah, stop. They, they he couldn't even talk. Did you? Um, he embraces it though. He loves that, dude. Grizz, yeah, yeah. Grizz obviously interviewed him. Did you two get to meet Batman after he got off the the set with them, or no? Yeah, I was uh, unfortunately. I, almost I, I did not. I, I saw him right before it. Actually, like he was he was walking to the set, and then uh, yeah. Julia, yeah. one of the ladies from GWC, she uh, yeah, Julia, she's sweet. She, yeah, we we yeah, thought he was, he was coming on, dude. He just like showed up, and we're like, dude, Gary Batman's right there. And then boom, he's on the set. He's on air. He, he, so she just walked cool. up to him with like with him with to me, and she's like, uh, "This is one of our players." He like gave me like a prop. So I was like, "Sweet." Wait, like one more thing from like he knew that. his history. <laughs> well, he knew guys, the GWC history. I'll give him that. Did you guys meet any um, GMs, coaches, players that like you were like, "Oh my god, I met blah blah." I don't know. You know what I mean? Whoever you come across like being in that city at the same time. You know what I mean? Like, did, did you guys run into anybody? Yeah, uh, I I'll I'll start off on this. We we um, in in our hotel we shared the same hotel with all like the analysts and the GMs and all like the players and stuff. Um, mm. I got to meet uh, so some of the draft prospects came to watch us uh on the Wednesday, and I played hockey growing up with Matt Savoy, oh, and so like yeah. I, uh, so I like I I talked to him upstairs and like he recognized me and everything. I think they're they took pictures and I got interviewed after about it, but like. Meeting him again, like I haven't, I haven't had a conversation with him since I was like 13 years old. So like, that's crazy. I'm now, and now, he's like, now, dude. He's really, yeah, like he, he's he's the fucking, he's, like, he's a beauty. I love that kid. Well, dude, I met him out at the bar, dude. He, he like, I was at the bar with uh, with Regzy and uh, and Pete Blackburn, and Regs goes to the bathroom. And he's gone forever, and then he comes back, and he's like, "Dude, Matt Savoy's upstairs." I was like, "What? Are you serious?" So I I went upstairs, and obviously being from Buffalo. And uh, he was on the broadcast with us the day prior. So now that he had gotten drafted to the Sabres, I was like, dude, like I'm from Buffalo. This is sick. So that was really cool. Got my yeah, picture and, taken with that. And the, th the Thursday night as well, uh, like uh, Kat and Rissa, I wasn't there, but they said they saw Le Cavalier and uh, some other guy. I forget. I don't know. I don't remember his name. But they, I lost guys with Cam Neely in our hotel. That was pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, – I saw Cooley actually. The guy who went to Arizona. He uh, he stinks though. John Wayne said we don't need we don't need Cooley. Yeah, he was talking back. I said good luck in Arizona. Yeah, really he said thanks, Ryan. man. We're not. Uh, Dude, you know what? I don't understand. Like, so I saw a lot of the players like out and about that night after after the draft, just walking down the street, going to different bars and stuff. And like the players still didn't have nameplates on some of them. Like you're telling, I understand if you can't get a nameplate ready, if you have to go off the board. 
But like <sighs> before they leave, you can't get these guys a nameplate. Are you serious? Did you see Cooley out at the bars, or was he going back to shoot some bucks? Like, <laughs> it was like four in the morning. Cooley, like, I didn't see. I didn't oh, see Cooley. God, dude, that's he all right. He was getting ready in college arena down there at ASU. No, 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 no. I, did, I did see him. No, I did see him. I lied. Oh, God bless it. Send him packing. Uh, no, next dude, question. I, saw, uh, I think I saw him. Uh, <laughs> I saw, nice question. Oh, how, are the, how are the women oh, down oh, there in Montreal? I've heard I've heard oh, great, yeah. oh, great things about Montreal women. Is it is it true what they say about them? Just beautiful. I'll tell you guys a little story. Yeah. So uh, we're Since women. Oh, no, listen, listen. We're at the club, okay? So um, we have a VIP like wrist wristbands, okay? So uh, I go up to one of the girls, and um, her friend like said to me in French, and Sam said that she said to kiss her for her birthday because it was just going twelve. Sam the wingman. And then. <laughs> And then, and then the girl, the girl's birthday, she said no. And then I showed her my VIP thing. So I took her to the VIP place where we were sitting. And I told her, like, I was in the draft and stuff. She actually, like, believed me and stuff. And I don't know. Because I, I showed her a picture of, like, the Bell Center on my phone. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going in the draft. I'm getting drafted on Friday. Not first round or whatever, but. I'll be getting drafted, like, like maybe or something. I would have won the she's... first round if I didn't hurt my foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then she, then she got my phone number and stuff. It, it was just funny. No Everybody, way. Uh, yeah. That's uh, the exact was, no. same pickup line I used that day, too. No, I really was just, it was just so funny. We were all just trolling at the club. It was hilarious. That's, that's almost as good as when uh, John and I, when we used to battle online, and I used to chirp him, be like, there's no way you have a light. He's like, I'm a, I'm a pilot. I'm like, oh, yeah, for who? Alaskan <laughs> Airlines. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, that's, that's pretty sick. And then, like, I found out he really wasn't a pilot. But I'm not no. a pilot, but <laughs> God damn it, I work for that airline. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. Josh, do you have any That's questions? so funny, dude. That, we, we, me and Stu actually went back to try to get on Xbox 360, <laughs> like the old version, to see our messages, but we couldn't fucking, we couldn't draw them back. We couldn't like, find would them. Be Josh, Josh, did it you would have be any questions cool. for the boys, though, before we, like, we maybe bounce out of here? I didn't know if you had no, anything. Bro, I didn't watch any of the GABC. I have no clue what happened. I didn't so, know these guys went on the job thing, bro. I have no clue. I didn't watch any of it. So I, can we I, talk I about, well, then, oh, I know why you didn't watch. I mean, I, I know you got banned out, but that's not, like, why. But you put out a tweet, and I'm going to read it here. Whoever's in charge of the GWC, please let me take over and or help out next year. This tournament has been boring, zero personalities, and zero entertainment value unless you're a comp player. I think that is what we were missing, a pro player running behind the scenes. And I got a text from Noah Slays. He's like, Jesus, Josh, like, why are you hating on me? And I'm like, dude, I don't think this is about you. This isn't no, about Grizz. This isn't about Polds. This isn't about no, Benny. It's... I mean, what what was going on there when you put that no. tweet out? I think you said no, something. No. You texted me about the viewership being not at really... Was it 3,000 yeah. people or something? I don't know. I can't remember. What I it don't know. The thing, first of all, I, I come on. I come on to watch, like, the stream. And I'm not saying it's you guys. Obviously, like, you guys are just playing and you guys are con You guys are doing your job. But, like, chat's, like, no one, no, I didn't see, like, chat was dead, first of all. Second of all, you have these guys playing NHL in July. Like, it's summertime. Oh, these guys are going to be playing in July. It's, like, the I most. I think they do want to do it earlier. I, I think that was a. That oh, now they do uh, after like, fucking 10 years? Oh, 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 oh now they want to. <laughs> Like, think about it. it like it got it got delayed so bad because the game came out a month later too right like so like they, but, they got put in a bad spot and no they the didn't it's happened year, year after year, year. Grizz, it's happened it's every year dude. And on, to, on top of it the, the, then they end the eu one like so much earlier and well, then yeah, then, then, month earlier, yeah. then they're then they're giving like money to the eu players which i think they should get some but that comp like we've seen like 15 grand this, though dude that's uh that's, like dude Bro, they, they any of the guys in the money. NA, I would actually put money. money on it. If Pogues went, uninstall went, I'll even fuck, I'll even throw a Lebanese man in there. If they went to EU, bro, <laughs> that'd be tricky. I promise, dude. Like, it's not very good. Like, there's actually a possibility that they win. The thing that I, dude, I he thought was like. well against Geimer, dude. I, like, bad. I'll say that. No, like, yeah. He, he pushed Geimer to hit another gear. Yeah. Uh, the thing, the only thing I think is that's boring about it, bro, is like again, it wasn't not nothing to do with you guys. It's just the fact that the tournaments ran so late. It's ran during summertime. Like, there's just so many things that they can take from a pro personality, a pro person like view to like run tournaments throughout. Like, have like we've been saying it forever, run tournaments early yeah, on in the like year it, and have some points. Madden. Madden. Yeah, like Madden, exactly, folks. Like, it's it's, it's not hard to put together. Sure. It, it, and and the thing is like. They, the, the, why it's also boring is because a lot of the chat, like I said, it's start drinking sometimes. So some people aren't as watching because they're doing their own thing now. Like it takes away yeah. from the whole event, like everything. It's not just one specific thing. Like they took so much stuff away from that tournament that made it, in my opinion, just so boring to watch. And and, and it is what it is. No, I mean, I I was I didn't huh? What you said? Right. No, he said he just turned on the light for Grand. That's what he said. 
And uh, the other thing I heard, I, I didn't watch it, like I said. The only thing I heard was someone came in my chat that, like, all oh, the funniest thing in the thing was apparently TP1 yelling at someone to take a timeout. And I said, dude, if that's, I, I don't know. I, I, so, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I think the big thing I think that you hit on is, is July, dude. I mean, this game, it's horrible. about to come out again. It's over. The game's over. Oh, bro. It's... I mean, Betty, Betty's got a freaking rap. I mean, this guy's like, on a this, mission. This didn't... game died even earlier. Like the yeah, it died a month ago. A month ago. Yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it it died, dude, I feel like it's been dead I would say the game like died before dude. Christmas this year more than I've ever seen. That's fine. Oh, Boys, yeah. the thing is, if you have a tournament that you collect points on to like gradually, gradually go no, to a three. tournament, would be amazing. It would keep the viewership. It would keep the the hype around the game. It would keep people playing because like, oh, I can get my I points mean, now. Like, whatever I mean, they might year, be. And that's what they hired. Wait, isn't, isn't that what they hired DreamHack for like two years ago? You, yeah. said, we hired DreamHack. They're gonna be doing it way better. They did the exact same thing. They, they've you changed know, nothing. This year, so, out of any like, year, like Nasher usually gets so on, he gets subs, and gets off. Like he gets off. You know, he'll get on for his fucking two weeks and get off. This year, he oh, said, "Fuck yeah, I I this game two weeks." He said, "Fuck that, dude. I ain't wasting my time." Like, dude, the guy didn't even hit two weeks this week this year. Nasher, man. Before, so that just shows what the game went, man. Before also, Colts and Benny though. Josh, like with with you getting banned and stuff too, it's like they didn't communicate with you with at all with the band, right? Like that was nothing. Any of us, and any then, of us, yeah. Any of the people that banned, I I've always said just this is simple, and and no one can even defend this. <laughs> look at look at Benny's lights. I got the purple lights on. Uh, my biggest thing is why can't we have like like a, like almost like a, a roadmap, like a syllabus, like every class we went to in middle school and high school, we had syllabus it's like. You know, December, we're going to do this project. Yeah. You know, January. Like, exactly. Why can't we do something like, hey, game came out, everybody. Here's an ad on the game that says, we have this GWC tournament on this and this and this. And, like, and break it down because then when I schedule, and I'm, listen, I know you guys are all better than me. You guys are all the better teams going. But when I'm, like, scheduling my trip to Disney World, like, my wife and my kid and stuff, and I want to plan it out seven months in advance, maybe I won't plan it on one of the weeks yeah. of the qualifiers. And I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not going to, it's not about me. I'm just making it. Oh, but you're it. right. But we all are doing summer stuff. Like, Josh, you even said, like, even with this podcast, it's tough to get on one time a week because stuff comes up in the summertime. Benny's got a freaking life raft in the back of his car because he's got back from the pool. I mean, Posey's <laughs> going out at night. Johnny Wayne's, Johnny Wayne's got a tea time the other night. Grizz wants to go hang. Like, we all are doing a bunch of stuff in the summertime, and they just they have to, like, Look, July is too far. Josh, my bad. Go it, ahead. July. No, 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 but that's – sorry, I, was, I cut you off. But that's exactly yeah. what I'm saying, bro. They, they need someone – that actually will like understand what's going on with the game and will fully commit to time. They they got Chris Gallagher. The guy doesn't even know where his own like he doesn't even know what a Twitch yeah, stream he, probably is. He's got he, lost. He did pass it off though, Josh. He did, I guess. For okay, who's the new guy? I, 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 Chris can maybe answer that. Chris, the new who's guy. The new guy? He, he doesn't want to say his name. I don't, probably, I don't but... think it's been. I don't think it's been officially passed off to my no. knowledge. Okay, um, never mind. I know that there's like a group of people that are like in conversations that that talk about what to change and whatnot. Um, but I don't know if that baton has been officially passed at this point. Yeah. Word, word, but, word, word. No, I, I do want to ask Josh. So, like, what are, what are some it. of like the main things that you'd want to change? Like, what do you think would be beneficial and make it a better tournament? I mean, there's multiple things. I, I didn't write down a list, but just obviously at the top of the head is July thing. I think also yep. like running again pro points or like having tournaments add up to equate to points that are collected. Do so you think having like 10. qualifiers in smaller tournaments throughout the year? Yeah, so, like, like, like if you have an October tournament for a ranking. Have yes. a November tournament for a ranking. Okay. I yeah, like that. like um, like in the ideology of leaderboard too. That's what I'm saying. The ideology, like okay, for, like the top, like let's say they just made it honest, like the top 16 players, wherever you're from, uh, the top 16 players with points out of these tournaments will qualify. So like let's say there's a one tournament in October right when the game comes out and you get uh, like 100 points for coming first, 250 points for coming second, whatever it is, and then all these tournaments lead up to the end and they have a leaderboard and whoever is the top 16 players with the most points will go to worlds or 32 so you whatever they want to do 25 gaunt the 25 game gauntlet gauntlet you don't need a 25 game gauntlet at the end of the day that, it, that was useless this year yeah. i went 25 and 0 i didn't even get mcdavid it's like, interesting what, what was the point of that it's i was also the only person Sorry, sorry, folks. Yeah, off. It's also yeah, interesting throughout the year for content because you got people watching, like, oh, the tournament, this, like, this is important to them. Like, you got people sweating out games. Like, it's just way more engaging and way more entertaining for viewers, entertaining for the players. Uh, like, just in general, it's just a lot, lot better instead of running it in July, 25 game gauntlet, making them wait a month to play. It's like, what is what is going on? Duncan the thing and Josh is, playing each other five times. Yeah, like it's just silly. The the thing is, I really do think whether it is me or not, because they're probably not going to pick me. I just need. I think they need someone <laughs> that will uh, 
someone that will. I don't think you'd be at the top of the list, my friend. No, I, I don't even think I'd be at the bottom. I'm nowhere. Um, <laughs> the thing is, I just they need someone to put time and effort in that uh, knows what they're actually doing. That's the whole and point. I was, uh, to go on Josh's thing, another big adjustment that needs to be made is, dude, why are we playing hot? Like, there is no reason. You want sign-ups, dude? Somebody has to grind all year to sign up. So you limit, you take yeah. out Hut. They're not showing these games, dude. They're not showing the 99 Hut games. You never see them, ever. No one knows. No one so knows let somebody random hop on and play the game that day, dude. It just lets everybody play. It doesn't matter how much you grind it. You can play. And when you get to the draft, then you draft. But there's no reason to play Hut. There's no reason to do that. It opens up money games. It opens up everything. And it lets the most important thing, which the NHL doesn't care who wins the fucking tournament. No, they just no. care they about the sign-ups. And this makes it so more people can sign mm -hmm. up, dude. You can't sign up and have a bronze team. Like, there's no way. So that's my real, real input quick, on that one. Real quick on that. When I met Chris Gallier at St. Louis at the All-Star Game, he told me it's because of Penguins versus Penguins and Tampa versus Tampa. And I told him, I go, Chris, I get it. But no one watches be before it's on land. No one is watching what we all do with our 99 mm -hmm. hunt teams. Therefore, you yep. eliminate the the 25 games. You eliminate like with me with lagging out this year. You eliminate the win traders. And I know this sounds really crazy, but how about like something with like we talked about in, year, in weeks past about hut champs, like how like if Poles is the week one hut champs winner and he's top whatever number one, he gets a banner in his arena that hangs up every day, every game all year. I think that'd be cool, like just something gimmicky, right? Yeah. Well, how about the people that qualify from years past, they get an automatic berth and skip the 25 game crap. That would be really cool. Not saying that, they, yeah. that they're at the land. I'm saying they don't have to deal with the petty, annoying, like, grind part. Like, or like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the, the stuff. Yeah. We, all, we all know Pogues and Josh and, and Benny and John Wayne. We all know you guys are going to make it to that part anyway. So it's like, they, they've already earned it because as long as they sign up, they're good. And then. I've already said, like, last week, I want to cut out the whole in-game crap anyways because there's so many issues. But Polzy uh, and then Benny, like, we'll wrap it up here. But, like, I want to hear your guys' inputs before we, we get off here. But what, were you, what do you have, Polks? Like, uh, with the tournament went on, how it went? Just, yeah, how to make it better. No, just, you know, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, yeah, but uh, I think, that, like, again, I feel like the reason they run it this late is because the NHL gets the most, like, like, Fans and stuff like because of playoffs, right? They right. like they get the most like like people coming in and seeing it and stuff. They try but to tie it I get the draft or the awards. I get that. Like yeah, but from what you were saying, like I think um I think again if you get if you like Josh said if you start with tournament little tournaments throughout the year all versus it gets rid of hut the game is alive everybody's gonna come in and watch. Yeah. It's like again, it just there's no reason for us to be playing hut. It just and people literally lose that, sh and like people win that should not be there, like that deep in yeah. the tournament, just because the fact soul you can just flick up. Like it's like I don't know. It's I again. Hey, it's been like the, flicking up, dude. It, but again, it's it's been like this for a couple of years now. But the, the best of the best made it in eighteen and nineteen versus. At that time, like it was versus. I even like, think yeah. this year the best of the best made it. I really do, in my opinion. Yeah, I but think a lot of I, 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 think well. Josh, I think it actually was a really good group. I think besides Josh and Demon, I think and maybe Cat. I don't know. Like and maybe like there's some, like you know what I mean. There's always that like one person, but like I think Josh and Demon yeah, were like, good enough to be there for sure. Like like as much as Demon's a goofball, like I don't know what got into him this year, but he's cracked. It's like yeah, I, for the most part, like I thought all you guys like you know and like yeah, I think all of them deserved it. I'm not yeah, not not even. I'm just saying in general. Yeah, Benny, like, you people... some thank yous, buddy. <laughs> I, there's tons of upsets Thanks that on the every year. Oh, you're right. You're right. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree with you. Yeah. So, yeah, so I agree. Benny, what do you what do you think? Like, there's something like, and if any guys think of anything else, like throw it in there. Like, you know. And it, it, well, also like even running just those club tournaments, like the clubs yeah. would get more involved because yeah. it's their tournament. Like, we don't like realistically, we don't really need. Tamp like just the bolt shell challenges, just stuff like that. I'd rather them run their own tournaments leading up to GWC. Then it's actually the best thirty-two guys who make it because you have to go gauntlet over. And yep. And like the best guys are gonna make it. If you can't win a tournament, you're not. You, no offense, you shouldn't Here, make it. So you're yeah, saying you qualify for GWC by winning a team's tournament? Yeah. So yeah, like Toronto has a tournament. Toronto has a tournament. Anybody can play. Like Gren yeah. wins the first one. Regs wins the second one. Like. Well, go down. Cool. Like, yeah, exactly. That's what they yeah. do in Madden. It's so much better, it's, and you get so points better, from it. Yeah. It's just some sort of thing. Like, yeah, you could take out the thing I was saying, and, and playing what was Polk saying. Like, each one hold, and you you qualify for that team, and that's it. Like, there's just so many better things you can do. I feel like that they can do, but they just either don't care, or they don't have the personnel behind it. I, I just don't know what it is, Grizz. You would know, but I know you probably don't want to talk well, about I, it. I so. know that like it's it's like pulling teeth to get team involvement. Like, Geimer represented the, the the Calgary the last two years, and it took for him to. 
finally like make land for them to even like acknowledge it at all right mm-hmm. like um so it's, these teams do not respond they send them emails and they say hey can you guys you know acknowledge your players and this is what they're doing for your Allie, organization Allie. all that stuff and they just don't I'm want a piece good, of it good. like I got but it's because it's not like the, it's not like the NFL where the owners like have all this say, right? Like, no, uh, you know, if, if they say to jump, they say how high, that's not how the NHL is. Right. No, I, I was going to say, I rep the blues. I literally skated with the guys thousands of like hours over the years. They didn't say anything. The local news came out to yeah, my house. Right. They came out to my house because I knew a guy in the local news, just like with Benny, he did an article with the local news. It's like the, the Blues didn't, they didn't do anything. I had people that I knew that worked in the organization that were like, that's so cool you're doing this. And, I'm, and I, didn't, I didn't say anything because I'm not the type that's like, you need to promote me. I'm just like, I, I sit back and I'm like, you want to do it? Come to me. That's fine. I'm not going to tell you to, but it's free advertising and it's PG yep. rated. It's, it's all it is is good. Yep. All it does is look good. I'll, I'll never understand that type of stuff. And this is what doesn't before, cost them anything to send a tweet. Exactly. And Benny, here's the thing. Like before, before you go, I was just going to say this. They need to get down to the problem with this tournament is it can't be the pretty good world championships or the, you know, like we need to figure out, are we wanting the best tournament, the best players there possible? Mm-hmm. Or are we wanting advertising for each team? Because let's not kid ourselves, Polish. When you got the game. Uh, all seven, business. Th- yeah. And you got the game seven. Like this is all advertising. They use advertising dollars to put the tournament on. So if we're, if we're doing it that way, then going with the top 32 teams, you know, everybody in the league gets their own representative, then you need to make it where it's only, you can only qualify if you're in a certain mile radius of that NHL team. And I know it would suck for you, Pogues, because you have a thousand great guys in Toronto, but if we're going, if that's, that's if we're sticking with the whole, you know, advertising, but if we're going with, we need the best of the best, then we need to throw out the window because let's be honest, when you got the game seven tickets, it was a great story. When Benny gets to represent the Oilers, it's a great story. When I'm doing the blues, it's a good story. John Wayne coyotes. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah just, but that's the problem with the way they've been running it. It's like, dude, I got the Sharks. I fucking hate the Sharks, dude. I want nothing to do with the Sharks, dude. I get mean, the the between the kick rocks, dude. I want nothing to be do better, with it. To represent your number one team. I'm on fucking 60 MS, little shit. Like, listen here, dude. I don't want the Sharks. Kick them rocks. Like, let me fucking put in. I'll say, dude, I'm going to Arizona. If anybody wants to come play for Arizona... I'll fucking meet you in Arizona, Shane, dude. Like, fuck, I don't give a shit. Play. Benny, go ahead. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> no, no. This year I got the Flyers. Like, dude, fuck <laughs> yeah. it. What the fuck they want to call that uh, shit, dude? Fuck the Flyers, uh, dude. What I will say, though, is, is, is what I've heard about, like, formats and stuff. Like, they were talking about, like, so if you want to have GWC going throughout the entire year, I think that's a great idea. I think having GWC later on in the year is also good for the sense of, like, everyone's figured out the game and everything. I feel like that's when everyone's at their peak is near the end of the game because they figured everything out. But if you have tournaments throughout the year, you like you still get the best of the best players. Um, what I will say, though, is if they do, like, okay, first week, whoever wins this tournament represents Anaheim. Then we're in the situation where, okay, that's do true. teams, do, do guys tank for Islanders? Do guys tank for yeah. uh, stuff yeah, like that, yeah. right? So I think what, what they should do is they do, okay, uh, whoever wins first tournament, okay, pick what team you want first. You yeah, get first, that, that, second, yeah, yeah, that's 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 a good idea. That's a good idea. Pick your team. Yeah, I like that a lot. Thirty-two. We gotta start writing some of this stuff down, dude. Dude, these tournaments could happen like every two weeks, every like Saturday, like the top, like they find the top four. Friday night, Saturday evening, like afternoon, they stream it on the NHL channel. Like, I'd oh, be the grind. oh my god, man! Like the grind for that tournament, like every two weeks, you got. Like, yeah, I mean, it, but right, the game right, would be alive, right. dude. It, it would oh be. Oh my! Right. But this is my yeah. this is my point, though. Like when I said someone let you me take over, I was more of a, every week because the coverage. It yeah. Was, oh yeah. It was more of a troll to say like let me take over, but the whole aspect is like let someone that knows what they're talking about take over. Like you both, Pogs, you and and you, Benny, like those are great both ideas and the thing is they are not even thinking remotely that like level so mm-hmm. it just takes someone like i said behind the scenes to really because we all have great ideas that actually play the game. reaching out to us like this right here if they were sitting here we could just fucking well, listen, listen, David, the reason why i want to do this too well, it's bit. easier said than done too right because like you have to get the nhl teams to do that right yeah. like that's yeah the, yeah. the no, that's nhl true. can't just say okay you guys have to do it right See, and, and that's, that's where we could problem. have a great discussion on they could let us know like hey you know yeah but that's not really possible. true all you need to all you really need to have you don't need just that with the nhl yeah the nhl that's the nhl nhl 
be like, this is GWC's tournament. Whoever wins this tournament can pick what team they're representing. You don't need the actual yeah. NHL team. I think that so picking your team, if you, like I actual, think you would just have thirty-two tournaments. It wouldn't actually have to yes. be a team. Yeah, I, I think yeah. picking. I I think yeah. picking your team is is even better than having team tournaments. Same. Same. Yeah. Same. 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 I agree. Okay. I think we all agree. Picking, you. picking your team is the best thing. Like Benny, I don't know if, I, if there's anything more you want to add, but or anybody else want to uh, add anything before, more. Before, before they go, and don't we? I, last I got thing... a question for them too. Okay, okay, go, um, I'll go so, for it first. Do you guys think there should have been a draft at top eight before land? Yes. Yes. Um, yes. I, I, I no. think so. I, I, I think to so. Like it, you know. Yeah, I, I like for me. Last year's GWC teams were ten times better than the teams that we use this year. Last yeah. year, I, I went back and looked. Last year, I had eight, right? I, I had a ninety-one eight, speed draft. guy on my third line. Like it was, it was yeah, fantastic. There, and I think there, that makes there, for better it, games it because be it's got ninety-nine. McDavid, so McDavid, some cap, dude, like or something oh, where you could pick, yeah. you could do something like that. They, because, dude, one three McDavid's card for some reason. It's absolutely stupid, dude. That is yeah. just, it's unfair. It's so unfair. Like, uh, McKinnon wasn't yeah. even close. Like, not even. Uh, he was fine yeah. at 96. Yeah. He doesn't know why they gave him 99. You have to use a certain, like, say, everybody gets their prize pool or their player pool, and you can, you if you want to use 10 cap with McDavid, you can use 10 cap with McDavid. But yeah, you, yeah. You should have a McDavid advantage, like, that's 99 Salary cap? speed, dude. That's just, yep. that's just yep. unbelievable disadvantage. I'm sorry. I know that. I know that your your other lines they're not as good because you had to use it, but that McDavid, I mean, you can put put them wherever you want. Yeah, that yeah, doesn't matter anyway. anyway. Four lines couldn't even pick up passes. They like, can't. They, no, they, like, yeah. Yeah. like and that's why I say top eight would be better because then you at least have you're still not at the point where it's ninety nine hut, but you have three good it, lines instead of it, one it, and a half good it, lines. It, it, and that's the game being horrible like the fact yeah. that you can't pick up the puck for playing with yeah. nhl players yeah. come on yeah. Yeah. which just has nothing to do with it but dude you should have saw that but anyhow it goes back to this is like we go from 99 hot to back to versus it's like dude you might as well stay at that game level like, yeah. mm -hmm. like why not you know what i mean and, and, and you know nobody wants to hop on every week and play uh, ea has no involvement so why are we why are we doing all this you know what i'm saying and, and leaderboards get back money games get back it's just w's all around i think no i agree i i think like I said, I know the guy that's going to be maybe in charge of this according to Sleeves, like he actually has been listening to this. So I think this is good to like get some of the top guys around and people that were there. Grizz was on the broadcasting side. You guys were on the playing side. We've all played in it. I think it was a good way to, you know, maybe get our opinions out there. And I hope, mm. you know, for the future, maybe this will resonate with them. And mm. I appreciate you guys all coming on, though. I mean, I think yeah. this is pretty fun. Yeah, thank I, you I want to have you guys yeah. on again. Like, yeah. I, I told you, I've said this before, this is all about community. That can, everyone can have a voice to speak and whatever, but, well, you know, you guys will be on again. Something happens, you know, polls, you get freaking break your hey. leg again and you want to come on and talk about it. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. it's, it's, it's all fun, too. Well, you guys, no, I, I like you guys. You guys are good guys. It's so. all fun, dude. Yeah, they're, they're always but, let's be honest. Like, people take this stuff way too serious. Like, this, is, if anybody takes this stuff serious, it's all for fun, so... Yeah, we appreciate you day, I, so much for coming on. We love you guys. At the end of the day, this is what we all do in Discord calls. We just shoot yeah. the shit, man. Yeah, yeah. honestly. It's it's not, like, not community, yeah. man. You just get to hop on and, and shoot the shit, like you said. And that's honestly the, the best part about GWC was getting to meet all these guys and just talk about stories and just, you know, run the mill, right? Like, that's that was definitely my favorite part, just meeting people. Yeah, yeah completely different in person, 100%. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I'm, I'm like people. I'm like six foot four in person. I look I know I look I'm five foot seven on stream, but I'm really a pretty big. Verify, verify. Nobody was really shy, dude. That was actually really cool. Like it was, yeah. everyone was social butterflies. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I I agree. Like I, for the lands I've been to, it's the same kind of thing. It's everybody. Everybody's friends. To everybody. It's everybody gets along. But no, I I'm, I appreciate you guys coming on. We'll do it again soon, and hopefully. Uh, yeah. Hopefully you guys, uh, you know, you guys keep killing. And hopefully this combo makes some waves, and we'll maybe get some changes. Who knows? Yeah, or they can reach out to one oh. of us. Hopefully, I don't know. Uh, anything works. But all right, boys, all right. we'll be back. Oh, next we'll week. get Wayne an automatic bid next year. <laughs> yeah, automatic bid in the finals. <laughs> These fucking old <laughs> little shit. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll give them the sixty ping handicap. Yeah, let them know that Johnny Wayne needs a fucking free bid with those Arizona Coyotes. Logan Cooley's. <laughs> <laughs> episode three is ended. We'll see you guys next week for episode four. All right, peace, boys. Right, peace, peace. peace.